Hello, I'm Boone, and welcome to a special edition episode of The Impossible Dream with the mighty Scunthorpe United, the Iron. As always, thanks for joining me. Make sure you do all the good stuff. Thumbs up, subscribe. If you're still watching this and you haven't subscribed, hit that bell. Become a patron. Honestly, that is massive. It keeps the channel going. Without my patrons, I won't be doing this anymore, seriously. So thank you to you guys. But most of all, thank you for your view and thank you for tuning in. Um, if you're still loving a bit of scunny we might have the odd couple of special episodes and this one is very special we are going to the fifa club world cup and i cannot wait for this i've busted my ass off now for a week getting through two seasons and it was so weird especially season 21 just playing it thinking this ain't an episode but oh my god i swear to you my friend Episode 21 would have been absolutely epic. So we're going to quickly run through what I've been up to over the last couple of years and just try and get into the tournament and try and share as much of it as we can as long as we stay in it. So let's get to it. Now, honestly, it's sod's law, as my grandma used to say. The first season, I decided to, you know, finish the series properly and just do maybe a couple of specials. We've got Taiku Takeover. Fasal Al Abdullah from Qatar not bought United yet, um, <laughs> he took us over, pumped us full of money, which was muchly needed, if that means anything. We did win the treble, so I don't know if that helped, so that was fantastic. So I got a good chunk of cash, you know, to keep on going um, for the next two seasons, working my way to the Club World Cup. Um, but he didn't just give me a load of money, he expanded the stadium, which was around 40,000 to 52,000. Now, you might not know, it's not really talked about it because it's been quite frustrating, but the last couple of years, we've got our training facilities to the max and then they started to degrade and the old ownership just would not put the money in. Even when they had money, they wouldn't do it and it was starting to really get on my tits. Um, but something he allowed me to do is to, to rebuild them. We're not back to where we were, we're not state of the art, but the, the training and the youth um, were both superb again now. Things are going to be given away here or there, but I'm going to just try and quickly go through what we did. And honestly, not only did we have a Tycoon takeover and a stadium expansion, but this season was epic. The first season without you. And we'll start on season 21, what would have been episode 21's Carabao Cup run. We got all the way to the semi-final. Uh, we beat Leeds, Middlesbrough, City, and then got knocked out by United in the semis. We were, though, of course, in the Community Shield um, because we'd done the treble, so we were guaranteed to be there. And we faced Manchester United, who we did beat 1-0 to win another trophy. We also won the Super Cup again, beating, I'm guessing, the Europa League winners, West Ham United, 1-0. So it was another trophy, but the trophies, they didn't stop again. Because we won the FA Cup, that's back-to-back, -back, um, beating Leeds in a cracking final. Look who scored two goals, the little wonder kid. Our own, my very first own wonder kid from the own academy in as long as I can remember. That hasn't stopped either. Um, so that was fantastic. We also won the Premier League again. So that's the second time we've gone back to back. I won it twice then and then we lost it to City and now I'd won it twice, which was brilliant. Good points and um, good gap between us and Chelsea. It was fantastic. So could I? Could I really do two trebles back to back? I've only, I've done it before. The best I've ever done is three trebles back to back. And I told this story before. It was with Manchester United on FM15 the year before I came on YouTube. That's the best I've ever done. Three trebles in England back to back. So I could have do two at least with Scunny. Yes, I could. We were brilliant. This season just carried on that glory. We still had a couple of the old pros knocking about. Obviously, I made some additions. I'll go through it sort of in a bit. Um, but yeah, back to back trebles. Just like a finely tuned oil machine. The best staff. Great squad, great balance, great players in every position. Um, we beat Real Madrid 3-2 in the final. Um, you can see the semis weren't hard. Arsenal was tough. Before that, what we have Ajax. You know what I mean? So, yeah, very happy. Now on to season 22, what would have been episode 22. And again, we'll start with the Carabao, which went straight out of Newcastle. Knocked us out of a few cups over the years, beating us 5-3. We did, though, win the Community Shield again. This is becoming the norm with these little cups. Um, great game though, 6-3, <laughs> check that bad boy out. And we again won the Super Cup 2-1, um, you can see right there, you, all the action happened at the end. Um, they came back into it a little bit too late though, and picked up another Super Cup. The treble dream though was over, I'm not going to 3 -peat 
my treble because we were knocked out at the FA Cup by Arsenal. So we beat Cardiff 4 0. And then we played Arsenal, it was 4 4. Absolutely insane, this. Played Arsenal 4 4 at the Iron Fortress. And it was 4 4 at the Emirates. And we got knocked out on penalties. And if you've been looking at the top of the screen, you could probably tell we didn't three peat the Premier League. No, I thought we had a great team, but United were really strong this year. And they've got some fantastic players. They've got fucking boiled easy in every. I mean, we have. But you know, it's very hard to win the Premier League three years running, even when you've got a great team, great staff. I mean, I don't know, maybe a little bit of desire had been lost. Um, it wants, they want too much in it. We lost one more game and then we just drew too many. And um, we're still fantastic, still finished second. Still quite proud of it. Um, but obviously, no FA Cup, no Carabao Cup, no Premier League. What about the Champions League? Well, never fear. We've done a Real Madrid. I won the Champions League, which was fantastic. Uh, Lee Masters and Bobby Bark, sorry. I mean, how many times have we beat Spurs in a final on this? I'm pretty sure we beat him in the Caribbean. I think we beat him in an FA Cup final and now we beat him in a Champions League final. Um, nothing against Spurs. But yeah, fantastic. And this this was good. And I think it was a tougher run than the year previous because we got Marseille, then we got Chelsea, then we got Bayern. And have you seen that against Bayern? The 7 to her got a 6 0 against Chelsea. They were fantastic in Europe. So we at least won a major trophy, won three Champions League backs to backs, which is still very very special now of course Regan Eden has had two years since you've last seen him he's the wonder kid still a wonder kid came from our academy and he's played a lot for me um over the last bits he's played here and there um and he's growing and he's actually playing for his country and um, he's still only 19 still got the potential to be an absolute baller I can't remember who he's wanted by someone quite big PSG that's not happening mate got him to sign a new deal you can see he's on 135 grand a week but not the Wonder Kid in the Academy, but forever. But the kids that are coming through the last couple of years got some absolute high star players and another Wonder Kid. Abuba Ishimwe. That's what I'm going for. 17. He is French, but he's one of our own. And a Wonder Kid and a midfielder. Played a couple of times for me. He's coming to the Club World Cup as well. I mean, what's going on? Decide to end the series properly. We're in tycoon takeovers, big stadiums, wonder kids coming through the academy. And there's a couple of other cracking five-star potentials. I mean, one of the specials I'm going to do is jumping forward at some stage and um, seeing how they get on for like 10 years after I leave. And I'd be interested to see what these kids can do because the year prior, I bought some big-time players. This year, I had money when it came to April, so I managed to uh, be able to purchase some really good young players from the top 50 as well and about five or six have come in just about a couple of days ago from the top 50 wonder kid list so I'm, I'm trying to set it up as best I can so when I do leave and jump forward the club's in a great great place and um, so I'm not going to go for all the transfers ins and outs quite a few obviously players have retired but I'm going to try and run through the squad as it is now the main 22 at least to show you what I'm dealing with now show you some of the new players starting with Thomas Hormans who's at Bayern Munich for an absolute age a long, long, long time. Now, this coincided, him being um, released by Bayern, because he's too old, when my goalkeeper, Palati was his name. Um, he was fantastic. Um, he retired. Rasmus is still here. Never really moans. Decent backup. But for the last couple of years, I've been using three goalkeepers. One of our own from the academy. Little Slovak. Doug Nichols. He knocks about as well. At left back, we still got Bobby Amos. He's now 32, which is absolutely bonkers. But I signed this lad from Stad Rems. Um... A year or two ago. He's pretty good. I'm not even going to try and pronounce his name. He's one of the names that I signed him thinking, thank God I probably won't have to see him in a commentary. At right back, we've still got Dave Wenzel. He's a cracking player. Really good player. Um, he's going to have pissed off because we didn't win the Premier League. And Isidro Bays, who I got from Leeds United um, a couple of seasons ago. Fantastic little Spanish right back. Just hitting the peak of his powers. At centre half, is one of the new boys spent with my tycoon money. It's David Canoga and actually signed him from Bayern. Um, great player, only 26. Karen Adnan. Adnan. He's still here. I think I signed him the last season that you would have seen. Sergio's a new boy uh, this season. Sergio's coming. He's only 22 years old. And Branko Zivanovic. He's still knocking about. He's been unhappy 31. Um, might be his last season, but decent. I mean, I've got a great defence, man. I think they're really good. Next up, it's Mario Bonvicini. Bought him from Manchester City. Absolute fortune, but an absolute ball. The kind of player I've wanted for ages, more of that defensive central midfielder kind of player. Um, I like him a lot. And Nico Donk is still here. He's been here ages. Baller. 
Little Jamie, he's still here. He's a very good little player. And he's very little, five foot seven. Um, but what a player. <laughs> love him. And Sam Laurent Gannett. I mean, I love this guy. When we've got the two Frenchmen in, I can't remember the other guy's name now. I mean, in, thir in 2037, they were good players. And that was that first initial good player, I think. In Christ, he's really game changing. But I maybe thought I might, would have moved on from him. But he's just still here, still plays well, still does a job. Sasha Collin, he's like the backup AMC now, but he plays quite a lot, really. Good amount. Um, what's mad was he came in, he had promise. I gave him a chance, he was decent in the squad. And then I got someone else in, and I think I loaned him out for a bit and got a West Brom. Um, and then he came back, and now he's part of the squad properly. One of the big game changers was Gabriel Leone, Italian, 28, going from AC Milan. This was one of my tycoon takeover purchases. I just went shopping. It was so much fun. Um, great player. Like the best AMC we have had at this club. Mustafa Bar, he's still here. Still a fantastic elite left winger. On the right, we've got Mamadou Selec. He's still here. Been here a while now, four years, I think. And he's an elite player now. Fantastic player too. And Malek, Lenk, Nenk, whatever he's called. A little Ukrainian. Still a great player. Could play on both wings. Fantastic squad this. Striker-wise though, we've got two new ones. Um, this chap came in last year, a year ago. 27 years old. Got him from Alves. Cost him like 15 million quid. Mamadou. Mamadou. Boom, 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 boom. Marley. One of my tycoon players. God, I spent some cash that summer. I swear to God. And 28 years old. Baller, absolute fucking baller. So then, I think it's great. We've got a couple of other kids knocking about in this first team squad, uh, like Jack Blackburn and a couple of others, and um, maybe to flesh it out. I've got a 30 man squad for the Club World Cup. Um, and of course, I needed to cover certain positions. Now, something I learned from my beautiful series, Boots Bocker Boys, if you've not seen that, it's only four episodes. It was awesome. And when we went to the World Club Championships, I knew, I knew we had an advantage. My players were still about, and a lot of the big clubs from Europe had a lot of their squads missing. I think I knocked out Man City because they had to play kids because the majority of their team running a national duty. Now, when it came for me to pick my squad a few days ago, most of mine were as well, but luckily some of them have come back on the 12th and some came back on the 13th. And um, some have come back today, but we've still got seven players, seven top players, I'd say. Not back yet. We've got Sasha back on the 19th. They all might be 19th, these. 19 quickly 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 there we go 19th i think they might even be missing the first two group games so we can cover that i've already picked my team for the first game and i'm gambling because i feel like i can and trying to rest it my other bigger players maybe for the other game so it's the fifa club world cup and it's going to be held in beautiful beautiful greece went to zanti once been there a few times different places um, and we have been drawn in Group B, right? There's many groups. It's like a little World Cup for clubs. It's brilliant. I love this format. And we've been drawn against ES Tunis from Tunisia and River Plate, Boca Juniors' arch rival and Greeno's favourite team. So I've talked about this. Greeno's coming to my house for the weekend. Um, not this weekend, the following weekend. We're going to make a couple of videos together. Um, one is a director football challenge we've been doing that we're going to look at each other's saves and see who did the best and the other one was going to have a bit of a chat and have a head-to-head -head match against each other sat right here and um, i put a vote out for famous derbies on my channel and the Boca river derby won now i genuinely love Boca juniors followed them for years they're my favorite team in argentina um but river is his favorite team so it adds a bit of spice to me and Green Old Battle. Anyway, these are the groups. And you can see there's some big teams in here. Big teams from abroad, but obviously big teams from Europe. We've got Inter Milan, um, Real Madrid, Liverpool, the Mighty Boca, Spurs, uh, West Ham, Bayern Munich, Manchester United, and many, many more. This is going to be tough, right? It's going to be a challenge. Um, I'm going to kind of gamble that we should be getting through this group stage. So I'm going to do those mini live comms where I just jump in for the replay, keep it very short. Now, because if we don't get out of this group, we're not worthy to be world champions. Um, and then we'll see where we're at. I'll see what kind of opponent I get um, and try and tailor the live comms to fix. I want to cram it all in. Because if we go all the way to the end, it could be absolutely amazing. And that's what I want to do. We see Aston Villa won it last time. City won it the time before. 
I don't want to let the country down, we need to keep going, but some big ass teams in this, so. Oh, actually, I just wanted to share this with you because I'm very proud. We are the number one club in England, but we are also the number one club in the world, and the number one club in the world should be winning the Club World Cup. Bit of pressure. Where we are with the first game, and I am gambling. We've got Jack Blackburn, who's got a lot of potential up front, and a lot of good players on the pitch still. It's just... I'm trying to save a few others and it's a few fitness issues. Obviously, they've all been playing international games. But that team should still be beating ES Tunis. Oh, I've been looking forward to this all week. Seriously, I've been just bashing through it, trying to get here as fast as possible. And um, so, yeah, like I said, we'll just be jumping in for replays. Hopefully, there's lots of them for us. Here we go. Dunk. Getting us the goal. Look at this. Watch this. Watch this. Pick it out. Oh, man. I'm, I'm fully expecting this. We have got a great squad, A team or B team. And I'm a couple of kids involved as well, but donk. And the game, innit? Eight minutes in, 2 0. Honestly, this could be a, demo a demolition. And if I can do this, we've got them players away in international duty. Look at this, that trick here, Rob. Resting a couple of others, we could really push on it. It could be good. But I'm buzzing with that. I've got Ishim Way in the middle, Blackburn up top, Regan Eden, still a young player on the pitch, and we're winning 3 0. And they're down to 10 men. We've got a penalty, and here you go. Taken by the kid. And a free kick, watch. 17 year old, French, scunny, wonder kid, one of our own. Well, there you go. 5 0. I'll be honest with you, though. Even with a team with kids in it, not really my best. Got the Ukrainian, put him in the middle, had to. We should have won that 10 15 nil. So, next up, we face River. Our second game, but it'll be River's first game. Sometimes he's the way the fixtures work in this. I find it a bit weird. Don't know why it is how it is. Um, so, they'll have to play us and then they get two days off and then they play ES Tunis. So, this is their first game. Welcome to game two in group B and um, everyone's back now. The, that group that was still away have all come back today. So a lot of them come back a bit tired. So, you know, the squad's looking a bit more solid. But I've still got Eden on the left. You've seen um, the big man up top. Um, Ish Imwe. After that last game though, he's, uh, he's alright. Everyone else is tired. He's getting another start. Can the kid perform again? Well, it's half time and it's been pretty tense. Um, South American teams, I think, in this tournament have it better. I think they're in a better place in their season. With the players they have available um you know we have internationals and it's a summer the season's over really it is tougher like I, I won it with Boca. do you know what i mean but um the first half an hour or river they're in their groove but we've come right into it at the end we're still nil nil well we completely dominated that second half and made changes this this has got all of a sudden got very tense because if river we've drawn nil nil if river absolutely annihilate es tune is we could be screwed. So then here we are. I think if, if River batter him, we could be in trouble, couldn't we? ES Tunis need to pull it out of the bag. I'm hoping because they've only had a little bit of a break after a big battle with us. They'll be tired. Saved by Jibab Billy, whoever your name is. Come on. The group three, we won one, drawn one. Um, I'll tell you that we haven't conceded which is great um, but hopefully now some of these boys are getting back so I get back in that groove they shouldn't be out of the groove it's maybe a bit tired after long season and internationals and now this group stages are over and we are in the quarterfinals and we've drawn Inter that's going to be fun isn't it so we're into one their group we won our group Real Madrid won group C Liverpool are through in group D Boca <gasps> Boca are through Boots, Bocker boys, Spurs, man, what are you doing? Um, look, West Ham didn't do it. Oh my God, FC Bain United. So all big clubs, got a Brazilian team in there and Boca Juniors in there, fighting it for South America. So here we go, it's the quarterfinals of the Club World Cup. They're on a 4-4-2. They are a good team though, into Milan on here at this stage of the game. But I've been able to put out a very strong team, in my opinion, and they are fit and raring to go. Hopefully. Well, we're up to the races. It's 1 0. Here he is, Leone. Great player. Vision pass to select. On the right hand side, passes it in back. Boom, pick that out. Oh, oh, come on. This is what we need. This is what we need. I'm gambling with this game. It's showing you the short live con because it'd be rubbish if we don't get any full joy. But he's off the mark. The big man is off the mark. Came second in the Ballon d'Or last year. Nerves 
a calming down a little bit. It's 2-0. I think we're in control. I think we're really looking at the semis here now. Um, and I've only just realised, because I've played a lot, but they've got Simon Ariaga. Do you remember the American fullback we had for four seasons? Played well over 100 games for us. He's playing for them today. I don't say And it's 3-0. Come on, the iron. Well, there we go. We're in the semi-finals. That was a much, much better performance. Um, fantastic. Before Bar went off, that front four was absolutely sensational. Um, they definitely deserved it. Who are we going to get next? Before we look, though, this is what's giving me a bit of confidence. Like I said, into a good team. They've just won the league. Yeah, the Serie A. And the Serie A is actually apparently the second best league now in Europe, better than the Bundesliga and the Liga. Um, so that's... To batter them... We have got a good chance here, hopefully. So then the quarterfinals are over. We, of course, beat Inter Milan in a massive game. 3-0. Liverpool have just about beaten Real Madrid in extra time. Boca Juniors. Who's Boca, boys? Are still in it. Buzzing off that. Honestly, I love it. And Bayern Munich are beating United. That's good. Because we've been beating Bayern recently, but struggled against United recently. They beat me towards the end of the league and really wrapped up that title this year. I think it was 4-0. Um, I want Boca. But no, we've got the Scousers. Scunny versus Liverpool in one semi-final and Boca versus Bayern. The dream is a Scunny Boca final. Will it happen? Probably not. We've got to get past Liverpool, man. You had an average season, finishing six. We should be winning this. I'm probably disappointed if I don't. So here we go. Semi-final of the freaking FIFA Club World Cup. Great team. It's my central midfielder. And yeah, a few... Not injuries, fatigue, maybe tiredness. Uh, Mario's come in decent. Um, and I've had to play Sasha Collin there, who's normally an AMC, but hopefully them two in the middle can do the job. We've got a defensive guy and a creative guy. So I am going to kind of gamble that we can hopefully do this. So instead of like a full length live come, I'm not just going to do jump in for replays. I might just jump in when we get to like this part of the pitch. Can we start off strong? Come on, boys. We're better than Liverpool. We are better. In Liverpool, three time European champions. We are forced number one team in the world. Oh, we've nicked it. We've nicked it. This is still the same highlight. And we're on it. We're on it. Here he is. Oh, Jesus. They can't handle us. They keep. I know it's early, but like he just passed it out short from the back, involving mindset in the background. Oh, go on, go on. Get in. And they were just slow. And we just pressed him, nicked it, scored. 1 0. Free kick. Leone to take it. Come on. Let's just put that pressure on. Let's show everyone we are the number one team in the world. Get to this final. It's no more. Oh, what a goal for your first goal of the season. Did you see that? Liverpool. First real attack, to be fair. But we're just on him. On him. They can't deal with us. Here he is. Select. Finds Malay. He finds Bonvicini to Wenzel, the right back, absolute legend is Wenzel. Evolving mindset again on the ad boards. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Oh, well thought he was bagging that. Here we go, Bonvicini to Wenzel. Come on, lads. Sergio, what a goal. What a goal from his centre half with his left peg and bend on it. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, he's lofted it over. He's found Leone. Oh, we have a free kick. Select. Can he bend it like Beckham? Walk it out! Hit the crossbar! Oh, honestly, honestly, well done, well done. Can we keep it? Liverpool are slow and boring. Like that slow build up, the passing around, Fanny around, and we're just on him, on him, on him, like freaking rabid dogs. And now we're back at him. It's been like his most game. Go on, go on, go on! You should have scored. You should have scored it. Cracking first half. I had to make a change near the end. Blast goal. Me back up. Uh, striker. He's come on on the right for Select. He was playing fantastic as well. He just took a bit of a major knock. Let's bring him off. Got a plan though. So far, we are dominating this. It should be more than two. Liverpool have they changed it up at half time. They needed to. Just a slow build up and just dilly dallying on the ball like this. This is what it's been. That was a bit of a poor pass on. Um, and we've just been on him, on him, taking it off him and at him and at him and at him. And should have took advantage of it more though, I think, in that first half. Should have at least three, maybe even four. Definitely three nil. Should have scored earlier. Here they come, can they get themselves back into it and give us a game? Nope. Just give the ball away, Liverpool. Give it away. And we've just given it away. We've just done exactly what they did. But yeah, they've not been that good, Liverpool, to be fair. On him, on him, on him. Here we go. Here's Malay. Oh, beautiful pass to some little Ukrainian. Uh, here come Liverpool with that lovely slow build up. Oh, let's pass it sideways. And then lose it. All game long, all game long. They can't do it. They play shit football. 
this can't do a wee play. Oh, here he is. Here he is. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. Get in. Going into the final minutes. We're definitely in the final. Uh, Blasco just had a goal. This is a little vision pass from, um, what's it called? Bombaccini. Um, just a slightly offside, apparently. And they went to VAR. And they confirmed it. Can Liverpool get themselves a consolation goal? They have been absolutely shite, Liverpool. Just not been able to handle those at all. Can you really up and take this corner? Not fannying about. Well, there we go. That was a great game. I loved how we played then. I loved how they just could not handle those. I mean, they had shots. But I hardly saw any. I'm not editing them out. They could have been anything special. Only two on target. We were fantastic. Fully deserve our place in the final. But who are we going to be playing? Well, I'm absolutely gutted. It would have been perfect. Seeing as I'm wearing my Boca Juniors top. Well, they've been beaten by Bayern Munich. 2-0. So it's Scunthorpe Bayern in the FIFA Club World Cup final. Holy schniz, man. I mean, to be fair, it's been a bit hit and miss but that last game against us has given me confidence you know what I mean 7-2 they did beat us as you can see in the first leg 2-1 so that's a cracking comeback so here we are boys and girls there's one more game to play to become world champions I'm very excited about it anything could happen hopefully it's good could be sad we'll see and um, we're playing at the Ocker Spiros Louis Stadium where we played Liverpool in that last game and we played River in the group stage hopefully it's the same kind of performance we had against Liverpool because you know as you've seen have some good battles with Bayern. It'd be no surprise that they did win the Bundesliga. Only bloody just. So here we are. I think I've got a great team on that pitch. Um, my best team, I think I've, I've, I've gambled in the last one. I've been able to save my favourite central midfield partnership. They're on. Bar's back. So the game started. My dog was just doing something, so I missed the kickoff. You've not missed anything. Um, anyway, but thank you as always for watching. You hardcore Scunny fans, I hope you're enjoying this special. Like I said, I don't know how long it'll be, but I'm hoping you don't really care. It's been great to, to go through this with you. I don't think I've ever done it this way, a full episode dedicated to something like this. Pretty sure I haven't. Um, so it's been great to be able to share as much as I can. It'd be great to share the win. And here's Bar. Come on, lad. Evolving mindset and the ad boards. I keep seeing them in this tournament. Great representation and goal. I won't say it's a great goal. But it's a goal, 1-0, off the mark. Come on! But yeah, they've got Johan Holzer up top. Now, they were interested in him, and I used him because I wanted Malay. And um, cost me a lot of money with Holzer on top. But we know this game, and old players can usually bite you in the ass, can't they? He was a fantastic striker for us. I always felt like he could have scored a little bit more, though. Here's Barr, legend Amos, them two are fantastic on the left. Barr again! Go on, Barr! Go on! Well, their old players bit them in the ass. I think. I always worried this. I never take it for granted. But it was a goal. It's 2 0. Come on, boys. Come on. This is it. We've been good this tournament. I know the river game was a bit flat. But, you know, as they've got that fitness and come back, we've been good. We've been good. We've been good. I mean, Inter we were fantastic. Liverpool were out of this world. And we're doing very well against Bayern within 20 minutes. So, But Bayern are dangerous. And I think Bayern are all. I've got Jimenez. Do you remember Jimenez? Pretty sure sold them Jimenez at some stage. Oh, he was a winger. He's quite a good squad player. A few quid for him. I don't think he's playing though, but they have got him. And we've got their old goalkeeper that they released, which is mad. But his bar, come on, come on. I mean, how old's he now, that keeper? He's about 37, 38. Signed an extension, I thought he was going to retire. Um, here's Amos, Jamie. I think I am going to play another season. I think that's something I'd look at another keeper. Another old pro, really, hopefully. Um, but I haven't got a series on the goal at the minute. Here's Leone. Always give it to Select. How oh, did you, you, you should have put your foot through that, mate? Went so though, keeping that pressure on and nothing's happening. But I haven't got a series on the goal ever, so I'm really enjoying playing it. So I'm going to do another season just for me. Because I'm doing a couple more billionaire challenges. I've got a story on what I try and get out next week or two. And then I'm going to have two videos out with me and Green all together. Um, and then I might start a new series. So I'm definitely going to play another season for me. And then I might resign and jump forward 10 years and do another special to cap off this wonderful series that I've loved. 10 minutes left in the first half. Can Bayern get themselves back into it? They have a good, good team, man. And they are dangerous. And they can beat us on their day. And they can score f***ing goals. And there you go. It was good. It was, just, it was a deal I couldn't say no to because I just think Marley is a much better player. And are they going to come back right into it? No. Oh, Jesus Christ. They've still got the ball, though, in the box. 
and they are back into it. This is a game now, isn't it? Oh, come on, Sergio. We need another Sergio. Banana shot. I have a banana shot if anyone. I might even eat a banana when we dinner today. It's back. Go on, back. Go on, go, 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 go. What a final. 3 2. What a game. 2 0 up after, what, 20 minutes? They scored two goals in four minutes. Bar gets us back in front. Towards the end. I don't think we can handle 45 more minutes of this. Come on, Scunny. Come on, the iron. We've grown this club from the Vanarama North over 22 years. And we're here about hopefully become world champs. With a chance of it of becoming world champs. It's, good. it's a battle. I'm not taking anything for granted. Because they could score two goals in four minutes. There is Jamie. We just get another one. Get that two goal cushion back. We'll be very happy. But here he is, Holzer. He's got a point to prove against me, hasn't he? Using me in an exchange. I'll show you, Bood FM. Anyway, Wenzel, come on, boy. Come on. Come on. Just hit it. Oh, my God. Right, I've made me changes, but highlights kicked in, so they haven't taken effect yet. Um, Wenzel's going to come off because he's knackered at right back. Ooh. Ooh, my changes might be out the window here. Because Sergio's on a yellow and he's got a red oh so i'll pause it um sergio obviously got sent off the other center half was on the yellow so i've replaced him with the other two center halves and i brought bombaccini on 10 men man 10 men can we hang on with 10 men try to encourage him support him fuck you know honestly this cave puts you through the ring i've done it sometimes puts you through it roller coaster of emotions and feelings Anger, excitement. It's why we play it. It's why I play it. Why I adore it. And like I always say, why I, even if I do bash for the season, I feel like you've got to play. You've got to play to feel that emotion. If you simulate a season, and I'm not knocking anyone, but when you get to that final or whatever, when you see it, are you really feeling it? Have you really got that emotion? I don't know. You've not, I don't know. It's just, I love how this game can make me feel either way. Because no other games really do. Come on, Amos, 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 Amos! Oh, we only need 10 men. We only need 10 men. So, I've dropped Malay back. I haven't really got a striker. We've got strikers. And Bombaccini, I've dropped back a bit as well. A bit more defensive. It's a defensive midfielder. You can do that. We've got four minutes. A two-goal cushion. This is fucking bonkers. 10 men as well. Come on, Scunny. This is just the perfect... Part of the story, it because we've just been this. We've got a team full of character. We've we've been through it all. We've been from to the bottom, and now we're back at the top. We've never been to the top before in real life, but we're there. We've we've earned it. We've battled. I mean, we've done two trebles. We're three times European champions, and now we're going to be world champions. <laughs> He's not even playing on front anymore. I love this game. I love this team. Bayern Munich collapsing when we go down 10 men. And Marley, the man, getting an hat trick against his former team. Holtzer, man, keep your goal. Because we are champions of the world. The world. FIFA Club World Cup winners. Thank fucking God for that. Wow. I have enjoyed that tournament. Five games of fun. The last three games are brilliant, man. Showed you what character this team, how good this team is, you know what I mean? Even though you've missed two seasons, really. they are a good, good team. And it's the reason why I want to play it a bit more as well. So, well done, boys. Come on! I just shit myself then. A weird, I heard a weird noise go. Because I had an achievement for a while, but I've just got trophy hoarder. 20 cup competitions achievement. Something like that. Anyway, World Club Cup in the cabinet with three Champions League, four Premier Leagues, two Europa Leagues, two, four Super Cups, four FA Cups, a Carabao Cup and five Community Shields. Super happy, super proud. We've done this together, me and you, because I wouldn't have been here if you weren't supporting it, would I? I'd have quit a long, long time ago, nearly quit on episode 17, so... Thanks for you guys who stuck with it to the end. Hopefully you enjoyed that. So there we go. That is the end of the special episode. Thank you for tuning in and watching and supporting us on our World Cup adventure i hope you enjoyed it i enjoyed it it was a great thing to go through and the relief of actually winning is fantastic especially the way we did it so honestly thank you smash the thumbs up get involved in the comments all that good stuff become a patreon thank you and hopefully you'll tune in over the next few weeks for a few different things and tune in when i do a new, a new series at some point i'm buzzing very 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 happy and i love scunny i love it i've loved this series so so much um, so let me know what you think in the comments. I ain't 
got back to any comments for a while. I've been so busy with things at home. Um, I've set aside the day though to go through my last few videos and catch up. So I will do. So anyway, you stay happy. You stay safe. Champions of the world, baby. I'm booed. Bye-bye.